So this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to look at um, first solo and then teams, how we can uh, sort of initiate contact with the subject. And then we're going to work kind of through a sequential map of positions. So first thing when we're approaching, ideally, I try to avoid approaching directly perpendicular. Because if he's going to roll, it's going to be much easier for him. Let's say if Darren turns towards me, it's much easier for him to start to attack. So my preference would usually be from the head, because that's the most vulnerable aspect. Second to that, if I couldn't get head, I would take direct from feet. And then if I couldn't get that, I would go on angles. Ideal. Yeah? So all I want to see is when I approach, I'm going to come from head, stepping on fingers, yeah? And I want to make sure I'm not bending from the back. Rather, I'm, I'm coming down at least in a, in a low squat, if not a three-point with my knee on the floor. So I should see that I have that capacity to initiate contact with hands first, not going in low with the face, bending from the back. So that's number one. Boom. And I can see from this position, am I able to move from one three-point to another? I'm usually going to put weight on the subject, on the shoulders, or on the neck. Right? And I want to see that that's comfortable. From there, I can go either side. Because of space, I'm going to go on this side. Next to that, the next position I'd be looking at is going into a, a low frog position. Face is going to be to the side. I'm normally looking to get something on either side of his hips to control it, or either side of his head. Right? And then from here, I'm tight. Knees are in tight, so there's less weight on the subject, but I'm pinching him like a scissor. Third to that would be sprawl. So sprawl, this is my preference. I want to ride and make him carry my weight. I'm on either the balls of the feet, or the blades of the feet, or a mix of both. My knees can touch, but they shouldn't rest. After the sprawl, I have a half sprawl which is twisted, sometimes called a twisted sprawl. And I can see all the ways I can turn and adjust my hands to ride or put pressure right, from there. And I start to move. So I'm gonna do this from different positions. I'm gonna approach, let's say, from feet. I wanna drop down. I can see from a three point if I was coming in, I can navigate, preferably covering the legs. I don't like being in the center if somebody's on a table position. Come up on the table for a second. Because if I come in here, in grappling, people can roll, but in the street, people can hit, right? So usually, I'm looking to stay more to the angle, right, to the outside to avoid that. If he's laying flat, I have the option, if I'm addressing the leg, I can come in, but I'm usually going to cover. And I'm either going to be over or on, right? If I go over, I can use my shin. But looking at the ways, I can use my three-point stance. From there, I have frog position, nice and tight. Sometimes with legs, it might be this, pinching the legs like this. Putting your ear right down, side of the face, I can hear the ocean. If I sprawl, full out, balls, or blades of feet. If I do half sprawl, I could be twisting in different positions. So that's what I'd like to see. Slow engagement, full three point, switching, frog, sprawl, half, and half. Playing with that back and forth, one on one. After you do the cycle, you can switch to your partner.